In this episode, we explore what it's like for astronauts to go to the bathroom in space. This is where I make my space poop. That is it. Project Janos, you are go for launch. Hey, Josh Bernstein here. Have you ever wondered about pooping in space? Sixth grader Therese has. How do you go to the bathroom in space? Excellent question, Therese, and I've got a few more. After you go to the bathroom in space, what happens to the liquids and solids? Where do they go? Is it harder to poop in space? Do you need training? Those are just some of my questions. Let's search for answers together. To understand living and pooping in space, there's no better place to visit than the International Space Station, or ISS. Astronauts on the ISS wear comfortable clothing and have access to hygiene facilities, including a space bathroom. Here we are, at the throne. To learn more, I'm visiting Space Center Houston in Texas to meet Jennifer Hammond, a Boeing engineer who leads ISS mission evaluations. So you decide yeah. before you come to here if you're going number one or number two? Yes, you have to tell the system what to do. Oh, so let's say, let's just say for now I have to pee. Well, how do I yes. pee in space? So you need to power it on. These are the two primary control panels. When the system is ready for use, we say check that it's V to P. I'm going to power up my toilet. OK. And then this okay. would be your device if you're just going to go pee. number one, just pee. This guy right here is for number one. There's adapters, so depending if you're male or female, you'll use a different adapter on the end to do that part. Mm -hmm. Time to go. You take the valve and... Uh... So this thing is now... Yep. Right, it's vacuuming, it's and I just need to pee into this. Correct. Okay. Yes. Urine is almost 95% water, and water is very precious in space. During the Apollo missions, urine was jettisoned into space, but in 2009, NASA began recycling it. Thanks to a multi-stage filtration process, 90% of the astronauts' sweat and urine is reclaimed and purified, and as a result, becomes perfectly drinkable. What about number two? Number two. Okay, yeah. so then you have to sit. Okay, so, so you still sit Yeah. in space gonna... like you would. You see it's pretty small? The seat here is about five or six inches in diameter. This is where I make my space poop. That is it. <laughs> that awesome. is it. <laughs> That's crazy. You have to have pretty good aim, and you'll be, be, be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. I'm assuming I want to keep a tight seal you do. between me and the toilet. Correct. It's going to create a little bit of a suction effect for you. Yeah. And not that, a lot. Not a lot. But it has to remember everything that your the waste that comes out of your body has to be pulled down into the compartment that's within the toilet that you're sitting on. On Earth, when you flush your toilet, it goes out of your house. Yeah. And you kind of don't see it after that. Right. That's not how ISS works. Okay. So when you doesn't just launch into space. It does not. We don't okay. have a little <laughs> okay. poo portal. Yeah. That, you know, nothing like that. Right. Good. That's so, probably good. Probably okay. good. There's a plastic liner in there where your deposit goes. Mm -hmm. So the urine goes to some place where it's recycled into water. Yes. And the feces go into like... Stays into, it's a container. Okay. Mm -hmm. And once I've gone number two... Yes. Uh, toilet paper? What do I use? Yep. You have toilet paper? There's a selection of paper. People always ask about toilet paper. What do you do with toilet paper? What kind of toilet paper do you have? We have gloves just because sometimes it does get messy. We have some Russian wipes, which are a little bit coarse if you like the coarse type of toilet paper. We have some nice tissues, which are nice and soft if you like soft toilet paper. We have huggies um, just for any cleanup. To get a better sense of what it's really like, I'm meeting astronaut Dr. Scott Parazinski at Space Center Houston's Skylab 3 exhibit. A veteran of five space shuttle missions, Scott is a credible guide on how to go potty in space. Everybody wants to know how you go to the bathroom in space, and obviously you can't have free-floating liquids or free-floating solids, so it takes a lot of preparation to, uh, to use the space potty. There's a, a trainer uh, over in another part of the Johnson Space Center. He's got a camera, and it's called a WCS Position Trainer. 
and it allows you to train yourself the proper orientation positioning so that you don't have any accidents. But the experience of using the the, the potty to go number two, yeah. what's it actually like to go number two in space? Uh, it's, it's not a lot of fun, it's a, a lot of hard work. Our gastrointestinal system, the GI tract, is assisted by the force of gravity. It kind of helps push things through our system. And when you're up in space, you don't have that extra oomph to get things out. Going to the bathroom in space requires some extra effort, both in how astronauts use the facilities and how liquids and solids are recycled and processed to be as efficient as possible. <laughs>